ब्रह्माणं विदधाति पूर्वं यो वै वेदाश्च प्रणोति तस्म तम देवात्म बुद्धि प्रकाशं मुमुक्षुर्वै शरणम प्रपद्ये ओं शांति 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 ओं नमो ब्रह्मादिभ्यो ब्रह्म विद्या संप्रदाय कर्तुभ्यो वंशिभ्यो महद्यो नमो गुरुभ्य सर्वोपलवरिता प्रज्ञान खन प्रत्यगर्थो ब्रह्मयीवाहमस्मी ब्रह्मयीवाहमस्मी ओ वेदांतार्थ विभासकाय गुरवे शांताय संन्यासिने नानावादी नगेन्द्र संघ पवये योगी द्रवंद्याय च मोहध्वांत दिवाकराय भगवत्दाधाम विभ्रते तस्म भाष्य कृते नमोस्त सतत पूर्णाय बोधात्मने स्वतंत्राय सदात्मात वेदिने श्रीमते शंकराय वेदात गुरवे नम योवतीर्ण इहाचार्य रूपेण यतीना मुदे श्रीमनायण वंदे तम हरि करुणानिधि मननाख्यम प्रकरण वासुदेव यतीश्वर रचित विस्तरेणाद्य संग्रहेण प्रकाश्य बालाय मम विज्ञान सिद्ध त्र श्रीपादोपाल कृष्ण सन्नी भवे ओ सच्चिदानंदनामृत जड़ दुखा च लक्षण विस्तरेण ज्ञातव्या चेत शुणु वदा Now, the shishya is asking that you have said at nature of atma is sachidananda, and the sachidananda is a padasamoha samudaya. How is that? If every word means Brahman. then why have you employed three different words to mean the same object because any any vakya which will thus be having synonyms <laughs> in one if there are several synonyms more than one in one vakya then that vakya or the, that sentence is defective sadosh then why sachidan because sat also means brahman chid means brahman anand also means brahman atma then why so over here you have to understand this in a different context if i say cool pure water now the cool and pure have become the visheshanas of water huh? and their adjectives of water and thus present themselves in the vakya okay how is the water cool how is the water pure okay so thus they become the visheshanas of water and present themselves but what is the use of those words over there of those visheshana words because every word has a function to play okay it has a function to play when you are going to say it is pure it means there is no contamination 
when you are going to say it is cool, you mean to say it is pleasant to consume. Correct? So, unpleasantness is removed. Cool, pure water. So, we understand that even as Visheshanas, those words have a role to play. And thus, they deliver their meaning and become meaningful to, to, to be found in the Vakyam. Atma katham Satchidananda. Vakyam is done. Satchidananda is a word, but then it can function even as a word, a Vakyam here. Okay. Who else is there? Everybody is catching up on what I'm saying. Sundaram, okay. Ji, Swamiji. Swamiji, okay. Ah. So there is a function of these words. And that is when you are going to say Atma is Sat. Now you are distinguishing it from that what is mithya. And though technically the word asat means non-existent. Okay? Like when that would be. Yet this word asat also has been employed to mean mithya. Okay. Also has been employed to mean mithya. Nasato vidyate bhavaha nabhavu vidyate sataha obhayorapi drashtuhontaha so now we also find that the word asat has been employed to mean Mithya. So what is the function of the word Sat? Though it means Brahman, but it has a function which the word Chid and Ananda are not able to do. That is to distinguish it from Asat. And therefore, though it means Brahman, Yet, because it has a purpose, it presents itself in the vacuum, and so the dosha of punaravritti is not there. You understand? What was the Purva Paksha? Not here. I'm bringing you something out of the syllabus a little bit. The Purva Paksha's objection is Sat also means Brahman. Sadeva so made a etc. Jnanam also means, Chid means Brahman. And Ananda also means Brahman. So if the three words mean the same thing, why are you employing three words to mean the same, which have the same meaning? So though it means Brahman, yet every word has a unique function which is irreplaceable. The function which will be done by the word Sat is not done by the words Chid and Ananda. And therefore, now, finally we will also have to understand that what is Sat is Chid. That what is Chid is Ananda. This is what is the nature of Atma. 
and therefore now he is asking Sachidananda Anrita Jadatukhana Chadakshana Vistarena Shyata Vyadi. Whose Lakshanas he is asking for? Of Atma as well as Anatma. Sachidananda Lakshana is the Lakshana of Atma. And now you understand what is meant by the word Lakshana. Okay. Asadharan Dharma and Itarabhyavartaka and Doshatraya Rahitaha. Okay. Three things you can put together over there. So now he is saying that we want to know the Lakshanas of Atma and Atma elaborately. Because that what you have presented is capsule. So I want something that is elaborate because I need more clarity. And we will tell you. Kalatraye Kenapi Abadhimanam Ekarupam Sat. What all things have gone? All, all these things, you know, parts of the definition you have we have to see. Kalatraye in all the three segments of time. Kalatraye, what are those past, present, future? Future. Anji. Kalatraye. Api. Kena pi. By anything. And that, what is it that comes to do the path of some other pramana? Kena pi. Kena pi pramanena. Nabadhyamana. That which cannot be falsified. Did you find the definition of path? What? Uh, <laughs> those who just want to write it down, write it down and keep it. It will be useful somewhere in future. What is called as Bath? Bath is also a type of a Prama. Bath is also a Sundaram, what is Prama? What is Prama? So me, Prama, what Prama. Is Prama? Uh, is wrong question. Who is Prama? My Who niece. Prama? Uh, no. Prama means knowledge generated by the Pramanam. Okay. Prama. Uh -huh. Prama, Pramata, Prama. Knowledge generated by the Pramanam is called as Prama. Unni okay? Prama Pramanam. Yeah, Prama Pramanam. Prama is that is generated by the Pramanam. That's it. Pramata. Ha. Pramana Janya. Prama. Pramana Janya Mishyanam. Prama. Praman Bodhi ki Praman Bodhi. Praman. So, what is called as Badha? Means Badha is a type of a Prama only. What is, what, what, what is, what type of Prama is that? Vishaya Bhava Prama. What is it? Say it. How is it said there? Like that only. Vishaya Bhava Prama. Now, you saw the snake. As long as you are seeing the snake,
for you the snake is real okay but when you now understand that there is no snake why because the knowledge that this is a raju rogue has reason so what is not there what is absent this knowledge that the snake is absent is called as the bath of the snake okay okay is called as the bath how did it happen through pramanam so even when you are experiencing the blueness of the sky yet there is a pramanam which comes to say that the sky or the space is not blue you see nilima is not there so what is this nilima nilima is not there means it is badha so this knowledge nilima is not there is called as is the badha so is not that like that in kalatraya that which cannot be denied that which cannot be denied at because of, under any time or because of any condition or because of any praman or anybody which cannot be denied in time by any under any condition by any person or by any person is sat okay so therefore over here we do not have definition of an atheist as he who does not believe in god because here paramatma means sat which cannot be denied so it is not your choice whether you accept or you <laughs> reject a fact cannot be accepted or rejected accepted means you simply have to know the fact that is that is acceptance of the fact rejecting the fact means that you still remain ignorant stupid that's it nothing else doesn't make any difference to the fact so if god is denied don't believe god becomes angry god becomes angry so what is this god becoming angry hmm what is this bar becoming angry now there is this light on my head here okay i refuse to say that there is light on the head now light becomes angry no huh? now you people are sitting here and i said oh i am just talking to nobody what difference it makes to you you tell you will say swami ji Hmm. Yeah, that what you will say, and therefore, a fact is to be known. That which cannot be denied at any point of time by anybody under any circumstances. is sat that is what is parman and therefore by definition now we cannot have an atheist <laughs> we can't have an and therefore what is the definition of nastika is not he who doesn't believe in god nastika means he who does not i he who does not have 
Veda as the Pramana. He who denies Veda as the Pramana is Nastika. So therefore, you can say, we don't believe in God. That's okay. That is your choice. By that, God does not become angry. Nor are we offended by that. Please do understand this. Why is there so much of tolerance in Hindus? Hindus have tolerated, accepted, given space. Hana? So much so that we have cut a part of our country and given. And yet they want everything. A law which is not there in Islamic nations also is there in India. Work of board. Accept everyone. Because God does not become angry, nor are you offended. But elsewhere, God is also angry. The rest of them are also angry. So they say, if you don't accept, we will slaughter you. You have no space. And slaughtering just does not, there are different ways to kill and to extinguish or to extinct the race, to make it extinct. Take away all their means, even their land. Don't keep any space for them to live. Extinction. What is this? Well, anyways, what is Sat? Kalatraye Kenapi Abadhyamana. That what is Abadhyamana. So you have understood what is Bad. What is Badhyam? The Vishaya of Bad. Okay. Sarpa is Badhyam. So, Katham Badhyam Raju Jnanena. Okay. Jayama, okay. Jitanya. Uh, Ekarupam. And then, how is it? Ekarupam. That whatever is the form which does not alter. Why have you said this? Because in order to distinguish it from the prakriti of the sankhyas, this Visheshanam, Ekarupam is kept over here. For what, Miratai? To distinguish it from? It's not altered. Prakriti. Who is Prakriti? We are also going to use the word Prakriti. Sankhya's Prakriti. Prakriti. Aha, prakriti. How is Sankhya's Prakriti? They say... Separate are... entity of Purush. Separate entity from Purush. That's and okay. Bhutan Satya. Ha, they say that it is Nityam. Satyam Nityam. It is Nityam. So this Prakriti of the Sankhya's is also Nityam. Then they ask, how can Prakriti be Nitya? So they say, is Prakriti not changing? Yeah, Prakriti Karya, that what is milk, will turn into, will cuddle and become yogurt and that will also become something else and ultimately it will keep on changing. So once if it is cuddled, will you be able to still call it as milk? No. No. If it is churned and fat is taken out, now it is butter. Are you still going to call it curd? No. Now no. that curd is put on fire and clarified ghee. Clarified butter ghee. Is that, will you call it butter? No. no. So, now we see 
that it cannot be called as milk any longer. It is why? Because not a rupa. So, and we agree, everyone, even the Sankhya's agree that this is all anityam. But their prakriti is very strange. That prakriti is in a constant state of flux because the sattva, raja, tamagunas keep on bouncing up and down. And so what happens is that this prakriti keeps on changing. So we can ask a question. Anything that is changing cannot be called as nitya. If your prakriti also is changing all the time, now it is sattva pradhana, then it is raja pradhana, tamma pradhana, and there can be innumerable permit permutations and combinations of the three gunas. Okay, correct? Innumerable. Just as we are all human beings only, right? Two hands, two legs, one head on the shoulder. Huh? But each one has got a different nose, different types of eyes. The face looks different, the hands look different, isn't it? Yeah. Innumerable. Like that, the possibility of this combinations of Sattva and Tama are innumerable. Innumerable. Aganita. Then, if this is the case, how can you say Prakriti is Nitya? So they say Prakriti is Parinami Nitya. So Purusha, according to them, is Nitya. How? A Parinami. Changeless. But Prakriti is Parinami Nitya. So in the Brahma Sutra, then there is this argument against the Sankhyas. And when this is against the Sankhyas, even the yoga philosophy which is standing on the foundation of the Sankhyas thus gets denied, refuted. Etena yoga pratyakhyataha. There is a Sutra like that. And it is this way that one man has had a chicken. So he goes to some other village whose daughter's place. This is the story that I am making a daughter's place and all. It is not said in Brahma Sutra, so somebody will go and join. This is a story. I am cooking the story for you. So, there's this one, he goes to his daughter's place and so he asks his neighbor to take care of his chicken. Feed it. I'll come within seven days. This fellow goes and 15 days he has not come back. And those are the olden days. So the neighbor thought maybe on the way this fellow is not going to come. So what will I do with this chicken? He opened a KFC shop and he was about to eat. This old man comes. Where is my chicken? <laughs> See, you know that the leg is already sitting on this pile of rice. And so the old man. Where is my chicken? So he said, half is here and half is eating grains outside. <laughs> half is sitting in this pot and in my plate and the other half is How is that possible? 
like that you are saying that the prakriti is constantly changing and is also nitya the half of that prakriti keeps changing and then other how this is a dosha and therefore in order to make that distinction that this parma uh, sattvas to brahma vastu is nitya in all the three kalas three kalas abadhyam he is also saying ekarupam because prakriti is anekarupam anekarupa so to in order to create that distinction that we don't mean to say so there is no confusion oh because you know it is just play of words we are saying prakriti you are saying brahma no we are saying brahma that's it we don't mean prakriti you are prakriti in ours mayantu prakritim vidhi mayantu maheshwaram we use the word prakriti but not in this sense okay you are prakriti ओके ओके दैट व्हाट इज नाउ यू हैव टू गो एंड सी व्हाट इज इट दैट कैन नॉट बी डिनाइड एवरीथिंग दैट यू आर होल्डिंग डियर टू यू is denied is not there even in swapna avastha and sushupti avastha that is therefore that is not sat ek rupa ah asya drishtanta further kalatraye api मिथ्याभूतम अभी सत्यम इव भाषमान विचार्यमाने बाध्यमानम असत सद डेफिनेशन यू हैव अबाध्यमानम कालत्रये पि अबाध्यमानम एक रूपम सत दिस इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ सत दैट यू हैव नाउ व्हाट इज असत कालत्रये Over here also in all the kalatraye be mitya bhutam. Not that you know in satya yoga it is real. <laughs> kalatraye be mitya bhutam. How is it? It is only an appearance. And we all have, we all agree that what is an appearance cannot be called as real. Correct. appearance cannot be called as real but we deal with it as real or not and you call it as a transactional reality you call it a transactional reality like the ornament we all know that ornament is an appearance in the gold but <laughs> though you see it as an appearance you agree that swami ji it is also real na we are able to see it what are you buying necklace what are you wearing necklace what did you gift your daughter necklace so you see there is all transactions that are possible with the necklace so and so we are saying it is a transactional reality it is a transactional reality so you are agreeing that it is in some way somewhere it is satyam so also we are saying that this world somewhere it is satyam 
I am there, this body is there, you are there, this is there, that is there, my friend, my foe, so on and so forth, my property, my money, my health, my so on. So it's all Satyam. Isn't it, Sundar? All Satyam. Satyam. Ah. Satyam. Then, we are going to say, what do you mean by that this necklace is Satyam? Oh, it is Satyam because, you know, I am able to buy, I am able to sell, I am able to gift, I am able to wear. Now, you are able to do all these things because of the gold. Isn't it? If the gold is taken away, what will you buy? Nothing. If the gold is taken away, what will you wear? What will you give? I have, I have, I have brought you this necklace. <laughs> or gold I am keeping, you keep this. Something like that. Is there anything, anything like necklace without the gold? And but is gold a necklace? Yeah. Because gold was there even before the necklace, after the necklace, even without the necklace, gold is possible. And therefore, you cannot say gold equals to necklace. It cannot be used as a synonym for gold. Correct? Yes. Necklace gets destroyed. So do you say that gold is destroyed? No. Gold is there. Necklace is made. Then do you say that the, uh, the gold is created? No. So gold is not created. Necklace is created. Gold is not destroyed. Necklace is destroyed. So necklace is something that can be created and destroyed, but gold is not something that was created or destroyed. Okay? Now we have to understand. And therefore, gold and necklace cannot be used as synonyms. Cannot be used as synonyms. So, now... Satyam eva bhasama. Yet, you are saying it is real. So, there, is, there seems to be some reality associated with it. Now, this reality belongs to the gold. But you are saying it belongs to the necklace. To whom does that reality belong? Gold is 100 grams, your necklace will be? No necklace. Isn't it? So, so necklace is shiny, uh, gold is shiny metal. So your necklace is also bound to be shiny and that shine is because of? Gold. So the shine, the weight is that what belongs to the color, gold. belongs to the gold. Then what is it that exactly belongs to the necklace? Name and the form. Name and form. Name and, and form. that name and form cannot have any existence without the gold. Mm -hmm. So now you have two things. One is the gold and the other one is that what appears on the gold. Mm -hmm. yeah. Gold and that what appears on the gold. On the gold. Okay. Then this reality about the necklace is actually the reality of the gold, but you are mistaking it and as and assigning that reality to the necklace, which actually belongs to the gold. And this is how the necklace, a transactional reality, 
becomes real. Yes. Now everything is transactional, whether it is this body, Indriyas, Man, Buddhi, and the rest of the world, of your stars and moons and everything in it, your son and daughter and daughter in law, keep fighting and everything. What? And all this is the transactional reality. But don't forget that this transactional world does not have or anything that is transactional does not have any existence without the reality which is other than it supporting it. And so, Satyam Iva Bhasamana. Now, in all the three periods of time, it is Mithya. Now, you understand that Mithya is not something like Vatya Mithya is not like Vandhya Because nobody comes to say that Vandhya Putra is not there. You will say, you will deny Vandhya Putra only if Vandhya Putra was seen to be there. So, denial of something will be there only if it becomes prasakta, if it was there, seen. Anna? Yeah. And so when we are going to use the word asat, we mean mitya over here. We don't mean like when they have to that category. Kalatraye bi mitya bhutam api satyam iva bhasamanam. And when it is satyam iva bhasamanam, when you are experiencing it as real, then what is the problem? So there is no problem. The thing is, Vicharyamane Bhatyamana. It is only when the vichara is done, you understand it to be an appearance. Till then, what is it? Yeah. Yeah. How long will the reality be there to it? So long as you have not done the vichara. Vichara means here, what does what is the meaning of word vichara here? Vivek. Vivek. So Kalatraye bi mitya bhutam bi satyam eva bhasamana vicharyamane bhadhyamanam. So has it become mitya only after you have done the vichara? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Has yes. it become mitya only after you have done the vichara? No. No. Ah. It is already. It was already mitya only. For me, but for me, it becomes mitya after vichara. Me, what? Then what is the point of saying that it is mitya? Vichara is the knowledge so it was hmm. so so it was already mitya only and that's why what this is say Kalatraya api mitya bhutam. Hmm. Kalatraya api mitya bhutam. Okay. Uh, now you understand where is the... Uh, make. make. Kalatraya api mitya bhutam. Api satyam. Vicharyamane bhatyam. Uh. And why did Vicharyamane bhatyam? Because satyam eva bhasam bhatyam. Yeah, pagari kasi. Ah. 
it by itself. What is how is it? Mithya Bhuta. Mm -hmm. But it appeared to be Satyam. Yes. And when did and when did you understand it is Mithya? Only on Vichar. Asat. Asidrishtanta. Now to understand this principle. What principle we have to understand? Kalatraye pi mithya. Kyabudam. So these three elements in the definition are we have to discover in the where. Yes. Where? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> this chapter. Drishtanta. In the Drishtan. example. Swamiji, a question. In that uh, definition of Sat, how to understand Ekam Rupam? Why the usage of Rupam comes? Rupam means don't understand something that is Chakshur Indriya Grayam. Okay. Rupam, <laughs> over here that word Rupam does not mean Indriya Grayam. Okay. Mandandhakare Vartamana Rachu Swaro Pita Sarpa Malya Danda Tradara Deepi Abadhyamana Bhante Purvakale Paschatale Bhanti kale cha eka rupa vartate. Adhyasta sarpadi. Kalatraye pi swayam mitya bhutam. Avidyamanam api. Vidyamanam eva. Pratiyate. Pramatu hu paramartha vicharena. Bhatate cha. Okay. Now, all the three principles you will have to discover. Three principles means three parts of the definition. What all three? Mithyabhutam, Mithyabhutam, Satyamiva Bhastamanam and Vicharyamane Badhyamanam. Kalatrayepi Mithyabhutam is one part, one thing. Mandanthakkare in, in Mandanthakkare means low light. Low, less illuminosity in that less what do they call dim light dim light, dim light. In the dim light actually it is not manda prakashi is saying manda antakkale so give me another word for that yeah how will you say mandan thakkar in English? Two people are all professors. Come on, give me that word. We don't want manda prakash. I don't want the word for manda prakash. Dim light. I want for. Yeah, wait. 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 It's not clear. No, no, no. If you don't give me English word, I will use this one. <laughs> one, two, three people are playing. Then, then you have Mandandhakare Vartamana Ruchu. How is this Rachu? Lying in the Mandandhakare. Okay. Swaru Pita Sarpa Maljitanda Jaladhara Dejuni Abadhyamana. Now, there will be 10 people, and those 10 people will have 10 different, or 4 or 5 people will have 4 or 5 different experience about that object, about the Raju which is lying in the Mandana. 
So one person comes and he says it is Sarpa. The second one comes, he says it is Mahala, Pushma Mahala. The third one comes and he says it is Danda. How many Vikalpas? How many people are there? Uh, again, but how many have happened? Sarpa, Mahala, Danda, Jaladhara. And then add one more. Bhuchidra. Crack in the ground. Crack. Those who have lived in cowden cemented floors and in those houses, they can understand. Bhuchidra. Svarupita. On all this is called Sarpa is a name given to Raju only. Raju. This is this is Sarpa. This is Mala. This is Jaladhara. This is Danda. This is Bhuchedra. To whom are these names given? Raju only. To the Raju. So if you call it Sarpa, does that Raju become poisonous? No. If you call it Pushpamala, does it become fragrant? No. Nothing happens. So now, Swaru Pita Sarpa Malya Malya Danda Danda Jaladara Pi Abad Yamana. Okay. What is the nature of this uh, Raju? Abad Yamana. Then, Bhrantehe Purvam, before these people came into the room, what was it? Raju. Okay. After the light is switched on? Raju. And in between what? It became all these things? No. No. So therefore, Bhante Purva Kale, Paschat Kale, Bhanti Kale, Cha Eka Rupa Varnade. Okay. And therefore, whether it is the Avidya Dasha or what, your Atma is still Brahman, whether you know it or not. You are already free and that is what is the fact. So you simply have to therefore know that is all. And therefore, knowledge is the means of liberation. Eka Rupa Amantate. Then, Adhyasta Sarpadi Kalatrayepi Swayam Mithya Mithya Bhutam. This Sarpa, etc. How is it? Mithya Bhutam. Kalatrayepi Mithya Bhutam. Swayam Mithya Bhutam. Matlab kya? Avidyamanam api. Vidyamanam eva pratiyate. Now that Satyam that you are saying the world is real is how mithya bhutam api hmm? avidyamanam api vidyamanam iva pratiyate pratiyate it is prati pratiti is there nobody is denying that you are experiencing it is experience pra, pramatu but for the pramatu paramartha vicharena so this person now the knower when he does the vichar Vicharena Bhadhyate Vicharena means Jnanena Bhadhyate Raju Jnanena Bhadhyate So that is it. So Kalatraye Mithya Bhutam First Principle Satyamiva Bhasa Manam Vicharya Mane Bhadhyate Manam Is Asat Have you found all these principles in the Drishtanta or not? Ji Yes. That's why this Raju Sarpa is Mithya. Because all the Lakshanas of Mithya as of Asat is there. Okay. Is there Bhadhyate further. Eva Bhuta Raju Lakshanam Sarpadav Nasti. Raju is Abhadhyamana. Kalatraye pi ekarupa. Okay. 
But is that true about the surface? No. And therefore, evam bhuta rajulakshanam sarpadam nast. This, the rajulakshana is not, what is the rajulakshanam? That raju is there before, yeah, no. after, and even when that it is seen as snake, yes. she is always raju. Is always Raju. And therefore, this Raju Lakshanam, are you able to find it in the Sarpa? No. No. And therefore, you are understanding what I am saying? Jiga. This Raju Lakshanam is not found in the Sarpa. And therefore, Sarpa don't ask. Sarpa di Lakshanam, what is the Sarpa Lakshanam? Kalatrayepi Mithyabhukam. Satyam eva Pasamanam Vicharena Bhatyamanam This Sarpalakshanam, is it there in the Raju? No. No. And therefore, now what he is going to show you the distinction Rajau Chanasti Ataha Therefore, Anyonyam Shabdena Arthena Lakshanena Pratidya Vyavaharena Cha Panchavi Prakarei Vailakshanyam Yatha Anayo Vasti Tatha Salakshanam Asalakshane Dehadi Prapanche Nasti Asalakshanam Cha Salakshane Pratigatmani Nasti Tasmad Anyon Tasmad Anayoho Anyonyam Shabdena Shabdena Arthena Lakshanena Pratitya Vyavahare Nature Panchavi Prakare Vailakshanyam Asti. So in this whole thing, he has shown you the Vailakshanyam of Atma and Atma means Sat and Asat in five ways. In how many ways? Five, five ways why Lakshanyam was shown. How? Shabdena. One is Sat, the other one is Asat. So Shabda is different or not? Yes, how many? Shabda is different for both. Shabdena. Arthena. One is Kalatre, Piyabhatyamana. The second one is Kalatrayepi Mithya Bhutam. Arthena. Lakshanena. Lakshanena api. Pratitya. Pratitya api. Pratiti is how? The Ekarupa. And the other one is? Uh, that sometimes it is seen, sometimes it is not seen. Pratitya api. Okay? Vyavaharena cha panchabhi prakare hi vai lakshanya yatha anayo vasti tatha sal lakshanam asal lakshane dehadi prapanche nast. Dehadi prapanche is what? Beginning from this deha. Means deha means not only this physical body, but you consider sukshma Dehadi Pupanche Nasti. Asalakshanancha Salakshane. What is Salakshana Pratyagatma? Atmani Nasti. Tasmad Anayoho Anyonyam Shabdena Artena Lakshane Pratitya Vyavahare Nacha Panchabhi Prakare Ye Vailakshanyam Asti. Tasmad Evam Vicharya. This is how you should do the vichara. <coughs> Sataha nrutasya cha vailakshanyam jani know the sat has been distinct from asat. Know the gold has been different from the ornament. Though <laughs> every time you are going to see it together, but you have to only, that's why it is to be known. No, not that you have to separate gold. How is it the separation is? 
only in vichar understanding okay panchati prakarayi vailakshanyam jani anyonya vailakshanyam mutual distinction ठीक है और राइट ओम पूर्णमत पूर्णमिदम पूर्णा पूर्णमुदक्ष पूर्ण से पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओम शांति 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 शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव पादरायण सूत्रभाषित वंदे प्रवंत पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे विभाग्याय दक्षिणा शांति शांति नम पार्वती महादेव